Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting on my porch, just kind of relaxing. Got the puppies here. Puppies out roaming. Uh, the puppies were out roaming earlier today, but it's been a rough few days. Uh, the puppies tripped me again, <laughs> and I fell on the wood pile inside my house, and I kind of like twisted because I didn't want to hit the wood burning stove because there was a fire going in it. It was really hot. So I fell, and well, I, I cut my. <laughs> This band-aid's coming off. Um, I kind of sliced my hand open a little bit, on, I think, on the wood. And I hit my the left side of my chest. And I didn't go to the doctors, but it feels like it feels like I broke a rib. It really, really hurts. And, yeah, it's going to sound like I'm just complaining. But um, it's been a couple days, and it still hurts. My hand hurts. I can't grip anything. Um... <laughs> but I didn't burn myself, so that's good. And, and the puppies didn't mean it. They were just, you know, playing, and I got a small house, so. Um, another update. Well, remember that I told you that uh, Torch and Romeo got in a fight. Well, it appears as though the fight was worse than I thought it was. Romeo lost an eye. Um, I, I picked him, I scooped him up today, Um and just kind of examined him, and I couldn't get the eye to open. It just looks like there's no eye there. It's just the lid is, is shut. Um, the other eye is working fine. I mean, there's not even anything moving underneath the eyelid. You know, like when an eye moves, the other one will move. So I'm pretty sure he's lost an eye. Um, but he's recovering fine. I mean, he's acting fine with the hens. He's out, you know, scratching and hunting and pecking with them. Um, but he does seem a little different. So, um, Torch, I'm going to be rehoming him. I've got to find another home for Torch. Um, I don't really need a, a rooster for the Easter Eggers. I just don't. Um, because I'm not, I'm not going to breed those Easter Eggers. Um, <laughs> What? Oh, that's that's Junior. Um, because well, they lay pretty little green eggs, but the the eggs they lay are very small, um, and they're green. And you know what? It's novel for a while, but it's not a big deal to me. Um, so I am going to find another home for Torch, because although he's good with his hens, um, he is starting to wear a couple of them out. He's just, that was just too vicious of an attack. I didn't see it go down. I just saw the aftermath. And um, none of the other roosters have been like that. So, um, yeah, if anybody wants a rooster, let me know. Um, he's very good with hens, and and he's a nice, big, fat, juicy-looking rooster, anyhow. Um, Mama is healing up. So I think what I'm going to do, because this yard situation is too untenable right now, and I know I know who's doing it. My puppies are getting into the yard. They taught they taught the puppies next door how to get into the yard. So now all the puppies know how to get into the yard, and they just get in, and they can't get their way out, and they burst through whatever. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to keep my dogs locked up all the time, and I don't want to see my neighbors lock their dogs up all the time. Because I would much rather have uh, dogs roaming around my property because then there's going to be less chance for predators. And um, none of the dogs, uh, I've, my dogs aren't even bothering the chickens anymore. So another, none of them are bothering the chickens. So if those dogs come over, you know, at nighttime um, and get into the chicken yards, I'd much rather have them than rooster. I mean, not roosters, uh, raccoons. Um, so my dogs are going to be over there on, on their property. Their dogs are going to be over on my property. We'll just co-parent and, um, I'll just figure things out. But to kind of help the situation a little bit, going to get rid of Torch. I am going to indoctrinate the Easter Eggers to Romeo's flock. Um, eventually I am eventually going to indoctrinate, I mean, re-indoctrinate Roxy and Mama and Patsy back into into Romeo's flock and I don't think I need any other roosters right now on this property um, I mean I like having them especially the ones I got now because they're just so beautiful but right now it's just too 
it's just too stressful for me. I can't have another attack like that happen. Um, and there's every chance that the um, roosters might get out with the puppies coming and going the way that they do. So, um, yeah, I've got a beautiful barred rock rooster. Oh, he's just gorgeous. And then, of course, I've got Fabio and I've got Waldo. Um, I need to find homes for all of them. And I will. I will eventually. But eventually, uh, Romeo's flock is just going to get bigger. So, um, I haven't gotten a whole bunch done. I worked with the compost heap a little bit. Um, I had to go out and clean that stove pipe, and it had come disconnected, and smoke was coming out of the wrong place, so I had to do that today. But I'm having a little trouble lifting stuff because of this rib over here. Um, anyhow, more complaining, but I'm just letting you know how things are going. Uh, anyhow, thanks for the support in that community post. I uh, appreciate it. I'm just going to keep this one short and uh, talk to you in a day or so. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.